Okay, so you want to password protect a PDF and you want to do it for free. So your first step is to click on the start button down at the bottom left hand corner. And what you want to do is open up the Microsoft Store. Now you may see the Microsoft Store listed here. If not, just click into the search bar and type store and it should appear here. So click on it. Now in the search bar at the top here, type PDF encrypt, and you should see the app listed in the search results. So select it. Now I've already got this app installed on my PC, but you will need to download it and then install it. Now, once it's downloaded and installed, you can close down the Microsoft Store, go back to your start button, and you'll probably see it down here in the recommended list as a recently added app. If not, go to all apps. And these apps are in alphabetical order. So you go down to the P's and there we have it. So select PDF Encrypt. So the first thing you need to do is navigate to the file that you want to encrypt or password protect. You can do so by clicking on this button. So you select your PDF and then click on open. Now for the destination file, you need to decide where you're gonna save your encrypted version of the PDF. By default, it will save it in the same location, but with a different file name. If you want to change the location, then just click on this button and then navigate to where you want to save it. We're gonna leave it as it is. You next need to enter a password for the PDF. You can get this app to generate the password for you by clicking on this generate button or just enter your own. Now, for most people, that's all you're gonna to need to do. But if you want some more advanced options, go down to the settings button and you can specify your encryption options. We'll just leave those as they are. And then all I need to do is click on this encrypt button. Now, if I close this app, You'll see that in this folder, there is an additional PDF called Bank Details Encrypted. And if I try and open that up, it asks for the password. If I right click on it and try and open it with a browser, it asks for the password. What if I try and convert this to a Word document? You can see it asks for a password, but then it doesn't actually allow you to do the conversion. So this is why it's a good idea to always keep the original copy of the PDF because there's no facility within the app to remove the password once it's been applied. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.